Hi guys, in this video, we are going to talk about 400 series status code. Okay, this is mainly occurs mainly we miss in response. This 400 series status code comes when client has done some mistake. Okay, okay, in that case only. Uh, this will come there are many okay, but these are the few important which you will be facing in interview Okay, so definitely means uh, someone will ask related to that. I have not covered everything But this is more than enough for you to know uh, within this only they'll ask. Okay, so So like client error. So what and all error client can do? Okay, so that different different status code can be shown to to user who is trying to hit API with some error Okay, suppose First one, let's take example of first one. First one is 400 bad request. In this, what happens? Suppose you are trying to, suppose in this our user management application, you are trying to create user. But see, this is like proper formatted, right? Suppose by mistake, you have done mistake like this is missing, okay? This is error, okay? This format is not, uh, this JSON format is not proper. So in that case, what will happen? Your request will go to server, okay? Along with this data, okay? In server, the format, this JSON format is not proper. So server will not able to read this properly, okay? In that case, yes, you will get thrown with this error message, okay? 400 bad request. Then you need to update this and then you can send it then it will start working okay so this is what uh, about 400 bad request now 401 unauthorized okay suppose there is one guy okay who is not registered to your application okay it means uh, and that guy is trying to use some apis related to your uh, 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 related to your application okay so in that case user will get like like 401 unauthorized it means user is not at all authenticated means someone is trying to do something something in that case user will get this 401 unauthorized request okay now now the next one is 402 this is not that important but it may ask uh, someone may ask just tell like it is like related to payment okay if you are trying to use some api which requires some payment, okay? And you are not uh, given that payment. In that case, you will get uh, this 402 error, like payment required. You need to, uh, this is like paid service, you need to uh, pay for it, okay? Now, the next one is 403, forbidden, okay? 403 forbidden, suppose user is registered to your uh, application and that user is not having access to create okay some limited access is given to that user suppose for example the access what and all access given to that user to read read user details and to update user details okay to delete and create that user is not having access okay and now that user is trying to to delete any record okay in that case this 403 error will be shown to this guy okay later i have explained this in in detail there detail where i have explained about uh, auth okay uh, oh, auth uh, like what uh, uh, almost every company is using okay for that uh, that as authorization okay so there i have explained it properly so here just you know like if user is not authorized to do some work okay and that user is trying to do that in that case this 403 error will be shown to you okay now this 404 not found okay suppose you did some mistake okay like instead of users you are trying to hit this okay so here i have not handled in this application but what will happen you are trying to hit this so but this url itself is not available okay because the url actual url is this and you are trying some url which does not exist okay like this which does not exist in the application so in that case for not for not found error you will get okay so this is what this for not for not found error now 405 method not allowed okay suppose i am trying to update the details of user and by mistake instead of put i am trying post request okay in that case case user will get error message like for uh, 405 and uh, method not allowed okay so you should know like if uh, your uh, response code is 405 it means you are trying to use put or get instead of post or some other things okay 
so in that case this 405 comes now 408 request timeout okay this is also not uh, that important okay this is also not that important but when it occurs you know suppose server servers is expecting that client will hit this api okay but client will hit this api within a specified time for example, like uh, when you are going to ATM, okay, and you. Sorry, my internet got disconnected. Let me stand, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, somehow, in between, internet got interrupted. Now, 408 timeout request, okay. Suppose you went to ATM, okay. Now, now in atm you have inserted your atm card now uh, server is asking you to pr uh, provide your pin code server will wait for some time if you will not provide your pin code within that specified time duration then then request timeout will happen and uh, your session will get expired so in such cases 408 on 408 8 request timeout response user used to get okay and this 413 entity request entity is too long what happens suppose you are trying to upload any file okay and that file file size is very big which server cannot accept okay server is having some limitations of 1 gb and you are trying to upload 1 gb uh, plus data okay in that case you will get this request entity too long 413 status code okay and this 41 uh, 415 unsupported media types when it will come okay suppose you are uploading any uh, image okay so one api is there you can upload any image but the image type should be either png okay or jpeg and you are trying to upload some other format file okay in that case user will get this 415 unsupported media type okay so likewise we have a couple of others uh, couple of others uh, 400 uh, status codes also but that are not getting used generally miss if I, in interview they'll not ask you miss uh, beyond this okay so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you thanks a lot